is Kyle, and I will be talking about the pros of pressure in sports. My name is Eliana, and I'll be talking about how the coaches put pressure on child athletes. Um, my name is Sherry, and I'm going to be talking about how parents put pressure on child athletes. <laughs> my name is Agnes, and I'll be talking about how peers put pressure on child athletes. I take the position that pressure is good for child athletes and helps them succeed. Pressure helps kids be the best that they can, become stars, and that it can motivate players. The pressure in sports brings out the best of the child athletes. It pushes the athletes to succeed. AUSport.gov says that feeling of stress that often accompanies a pressure situation can help, can help keep you on your toes, ready to rise to a challenge. This shows that pressure can help athletes be aware and ready for the situation. Without pressure, professional athletes wouldn't be where they are or be as good as they are. Doing what we do as athletes sets us apart because we are willing to do that extra little bit that might take us to the top, says 2012 Olympian Bradley Wiggins. This means that athletes who are the best are the ones who push themselves more than the others and not just lay back and take the easy route. Pressure from people in the athletes' lives can motivate them to do their best. The text states, pressure isn't necessarily bad. It can enhance motivation, concentration, and enjoyment. It said from AUSport.gov. Pressure motivates the athletes to do better and try harder. Trying harder then leads to the athletes succeeding and enjoying the sports. One would make a point that pressure can make an athlete focus too much on winning. I believe, though, that sports are about having fun and trying to be the best to win. Someone might also argue that pressure in sports can wear down the athletes and cause them to lose interest. So the fact is, if someone loses interest in a sport, it is not the pressure. Someone losing interest in a sport simply means that he or she is not dedicated to that sport. In conclusion, pressure has a positive effect on child athletes. Pressure is a big part in comp competitive sports, and they wouldn't be the same without it. Pressure helps the, the athletes be the best they can. It motivates them and makes them good. Pressure helps athletes be stars. Therefore, pressure in sports helps athletes and only makes them better. Imagine a child running down the soccer field. His coach grabs his shoulders and forcefully whispers for him to sit out because he keeps stumbling and missing goals. He goes to the cold metal benches to sit down, only to be bombarded with angry comments from his parents about his footwork. Further up, some fans holding a poster and cheering for his team shout down at him that he represents a school and that he's letting them down. Finally, the kid turns red and tears roll down his cheeks as he is flooded by the surrounding of sounds. He is overwhelmed. Although sports have many benefits, the pressure that comes with it can turn many fun, beneficial activities into a stressful, competitive struggle. Most of the pressure comes from the coaches of an athlete. There is an example of this in an article on CNN. Coaches put pressure on their young athletes to do well, including encouraging them to bend the rules, leaving the kid in a state where they don't know whether the coach is making the right decisions. This shows that when the coach tells the young athletes to do something, Athletes are pressured and conflicted about whether they should obey their coach, even though it might be the wrong decision. Another example from YouthSportsPsychology.com is when coaches pressure sports kids, they often establish high expectations for them. When young athletes experience these kinds of expectations, they can get frustrated and lose confidence when they don't meet the expectations. This shows that if the coaches didn't pressure the athletes, and the children wouldn't get frustrated and in turn would play their very best. Some people think that pressure in sports can be beneficial to child athletes, but I believe that pressure is not good for them. Pressure may help in a game, but at some point it gets too much and parents push too hard on their kids. A lot of the time, parents get too involved in their child's sport life. They practically become a coach and make the kid's decision. According to an article called Experts, when parents push sports, kids often lose, 70% of children drop out of sports by age 13, and a big reason is that their parents are putting too much pressure on them. This means that many kids feel that their parents are making sports too stressful and take the fun out of the game. The uh, teens may drop out because they have pressure from other things, and the pressure that parents put on them in sports does not help. In an article titled, Parental Pressure on Children, they mentioned, according to an Illinois uh, Northern Illinois University Department of Education, your children are more likely to suffer from self-esteem and confidence problems if they feel that your parental pressure is too strong. Pressure from parents in sports not only affects the child's sport life, but their social life. Uh, it can make them feel insecure and have low self-esteem because a parent is too hard on them and expects too much.
The parents should be able to encourage their children, not pressure them. Of course, a little pressure may benefit in the game, but parents and, and parents and coaches need to be aware of the players and they need to encourage them and tell them to work hard. But just because per, per, pressure may make kids work a little harder doesn't make it, it a good thing because it can get overwhelming. Parents put unnecessary pressure on kids. If they don't have so much pressure holding them back, they can actually enjoy the game and try their hardest, not their parents' hardest. Pressure is something that kids should not have to deal with because of a sport, especially from their own parents. A friend of mine recently played on a competitive softball team. After she told another student about their recent losses, she said, well, don't be the reason our school loses. As a result, she felt pressured to play harder, and that led to her breaking her arm. This incident proved that competitive sports brings pressure to do well to impress peers. Of course, friendly pressure is good encouragement to do well, but too much is harmful, as this incident demonstrates. To further illustrate, as teens engage in competitive events and team sports, their exposure to peer pressure and anxiety may increase with the need to win, from Lexington and May.org. In other words, kids are taking the words of their peers to heart and putting that pressure on themselves. They are constantly trying to win so their friends like them, but not everything is about winning. While some, some critics may argue that the pressures of competitive sports help the athletes learn life skills, I disagree. On the playing field, teen athletes feel intense pressure to outperform teammates. From Lexington, Lexington This shows that while young athletes are playing, they are constantly trying to impress and outperform others. That is not learning life skills. That is teaching the wrong lesson that everything you do should be in comparison to others. However, I do believe that if we started to change the way the game is played, we can create a better environment in competitive sports. Coaches should start activating teamwork activities to replace military drill workouts. Parents should, can start encouraging their kids to have fun over constantly trying to impress colleges. Peers should, should start to encourage their friends to do what they want and create an environment where it is not a competition on who is the best athlete. This way, competitive sports will be a fun way to enjoy childhood.